Hi friends, come and make my 2024 Renaissance Fair outfit with me. So my plan is to wear this green dress, kind of pull down the shoulders, and then turn this vest that I got from Goodwill into a corset top, similar to what I did last year, but this time I think it'll be better because I have more experience. Just like with last time, I'm planning to cinch the shoulders because I just think it gives it a really nice tailored look. Then I'm going to shorten it like I did last year. This fabric is a little bit different though, so it'll be interesting to work with. But it'll give the outfit an overall better structure than the last year's fabric. I pinned it in place. I always recommend pinning things while they're on your body if you can do that because it makes the measuring much easier. As tradition, you must put sewing supplies inside biscuit tins. It's like the law. I did decide to use some industrial strength shoe thread I have. I know not everybody has that. You could use regular thread. Just make sure your stitches are really, really tight and secure. And of course, I had to have Bridgerton on in the background, duh. Next, I need to take off these fake pockets because they were gonna be in the way when I cut it and sewed it. And they came off pretty easily and barely left a mark, so that was good. For the laces and the grommets, I decided to repurpose this old corset belt that I have that I don't wear anymore and just kind of take off the grommets. I'm just going to pry them off the back with a little screwdriver and actually it was really easy to do. The grommets just kind of bent really easily and fell right off, so not as hard as you might think. Then to punch the holes, I just used an old nail and I had a brick closer to me than I had a hammer so I just used that but you know, just make a hole and then I used a paintbrush to push through the hole to make it bigger and get a nice round shape. And then the grommet just fit in perfectly, it was really really easy, I just crimped the grommet shut and that was it. Then came time for the overskirt. I got this old bed sheet from Goodwill. It's kind of a dusty rose color and I feel like it matches the corset perfectly and it'll be great for the overskirt. I'm gonna have kind of a bunching situation like this and I think it'll look really good all together. Just I cut off the elastic because it was a fitted sheet and then spread it down on the floor. I laid down one of my old skirts to use as a rough guide for a pattern. I 
But first, coffee before I start sewing the skirt because I'm gonna need the fuel, that's for sure. Sewing this took longer than I would have liked, but there's really no way around it when you have that much fabric. I wanted it to be billowy and have a lot of volume, so you can do what you have to do. By this point, it was really starting to come together and I was getting very excited. And there you have it. I'm really pleased with how it came out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you learned something from this video. Take care, friends, and stay magical.